Exterior Burmese jungle day. The high canopy shades the jungle floor from the late afternoon sun. Blistering heat fills the air with mist and lazy insects. Water drips from webs of vines and hanging air roots. Monkeys screech somewhere above as a man crashes through the dense undergrowth, half running, half staggering, breathing hard. He looks like a primitive tribesman, naked but for a loincloth and a woven grass headdress. Dried mud covers his skin and hair. Blood oozes from poulticed wounds in his shoulder, arm, and leg, and wherever thorns have ripped him. He's young, in his 20s. Under the mud, his body is hard and muscular. In one hand, he holds a stone-tipped spear, leaning on it as a crutch. With the other, he chops through the vines and roots with an incongruous military-issued Japanese katana, a samurai sword. The man collapses against a huge fanning root of a banyan tree. Finding a broad leaf, he cups it, collects some dripping moisture. He pushes back his headdress and drinks. His eyes are a startling blue. He checks a compass strapped to his forearm, above an Omega wristwatch. Then he pushes off from the tree and staggers on through the darkening jungle. Clouds gather overhead with astonishing suddenness, as if God has opened a celestial floodgate, a drenching downpour begins.